I just made a Sicilian carbonata, which is perfect with the Sicilian wine. You sure about that? Isn't traditional a way to pair with uh, regional wine? It is. It is, and you're right. Like, uh, but in the meanwhile, I don't know what you have here, so let me do this. Usually, Italy has got like thousands and thousands and thousands of dishes, and so as a result, next to the place where the dish is made, there is going to be a thousand wines that are going to be perfect with it. But the most important thing is to understand the weight of the dish. So is it a light dish? Is it heavy? Is, has it got some greasiness, some fatness? Or is, does it have something that is very aromatic? And then you're going to decide what is a good match. But because today I brought you some rosé from Valtenesi, the western shore of the Lake Garda with a Gropella variety, I would like to know, before I can say whether this is going to be good or not, what is caponata? How do you make it? It's all a vegetable dish with mm. eggplant, celery, mm. onion, mm. tomato, mm. and pine nuts. This is good, this is awesome, but it's a vegetarian dish, yes. Yes, but it's vegan. Vegan, actually, but there is some fatness in it. There is like a lot of oil elements. Because everything is deep fried, actually. Mm -hmm. Man, you've got a very delicate touch with your deep fried but thank you the and there is also some acidity where does it come from lots of acidity from the vinegar from the white vinegar man vinegar is a tough really tough not for matching food and wine but you know what once again uh, look at the color of our Tennessee with the, the gropello red variety giving this beautiful pearl um, rose color the acidity is phenomenal so you see what happens? Actually, there is minerality, there is savouriness in this wine. Perfect. And if you, this is perfect, man. Mm. This dish is unbelievable. The, now I got a, a little bit of the veggie with the vinegar, which could be complicated. And it works, guys. It works because, right? It works because this is a heavier dish than you would expect it to be. Uh, it's actually very tantalizing because you have sweetness, you have acidity, you have the veggie crunchiness, mm -hmm. uh, but also there is some soft side in it. And Valtenesi Rosé is, for me, is working because there is a conversation between some of the juiciness of the wine that is going to make your palate clean at the end of every pairing. Funciona, no? See? Ma, ma le olive dove le prese? Have you watched our next video yet? Well, if you haven't done it, go for it right now. And for more tips, tricks, and of course, love, you gotta follow our channels and subscribe our social media. <laughs> it's the opposite. Follow our social media and subscribe our channel.